Flame on, 2014. Listen to me. We need heroes. We need saints. This world, this generation needs heroes and saints. Philippians chapter 2, verse 15, our key verse this week. We live in a world that is full of crooked and perverse people. Your schools, your families, this nation has never in its history been in the greatest need for heroes and saints for the kingdom of God. Tonight, <clears throat> I'm calling you. I'm throwing down the gauntlet and saying, who in this room will rise to be a hero in the kingdom of God? Who in this room will rise to be a saint in God's kingdom? Our God, <clears throat> our God-given calling, our God-given calling is to change the world one heart at a time. And it's heroes and saints like you young people who are going to carry out that calling. Heroes are filled with courage, a quality that's quite lacking in most teenagers. But you're different. You are filled with the power of the Holy Spirit that gives you boldness to witness and courage to stand for Christ. Heroes will rise when the situation gets desperate. Heroes will not back down from a fight. When Christ are, is, is filling their lives, heroes look out on the minefield of what it means to be a teenager in your schools, and they don't cower in fear. Instead, they walk boldly empowered by God right through the middle of it. Heroes are strong, and they're mighty men and women for the kingdom of God. We need teenage heroes for Christ. Do you believe it? <clears throat> and saints are those people that bear the name of Jesus. When you see them, you see the image of Christ. You see his character. You see what he would look like. You hear what he would say. And when you watch the way they live, you see exactly how he would live. That's what a saint is. And we need some teenage saints in this generation. We, are, we need people who are so connected with the supernatural that through the power of the Holy Spirit, they see miracles take place in their school and in their family and at the motocross track. Amen? Saints are people that have the Spirit of Christ living through them so much that their own wants and their own needs disappear and Jesus is seen. That's what I want you guys to be. Saints are people that hear voices from other places. The voice of the Spirit of God leading them and calling them into really some dark places sometimes. We need some teenage saints. <clears throat> Our world needs some people like David. You know David, a young man who would not let that stinking giant Goliath badmouth the God of Israel. He wouldn't let it stand. Instead, he stood up and said, who is this nasty, unclean jerk who would say something against my God? He reached down, picked up some rocks, and you know what he did? Whew, let him fly. Not only did he knock that giant out, but he beheaded him. That's a courageous young man. A very courageous young man. We need some heroes like Esther. Come on, girls. <clears throat> a beautiful young lady 
so beautiful, in fact, she was chosen to be taken as a queen. And yet, even in the most dangerous of situations that could have cost her her life, she was brave enough to stand up for her God and for her people, and her actions saved a whole nation. We need heroes like Daniel, a saint, listen to this, whose habit of prayer got him thrown to the lions. Time out just for a second. How many of your habits of prayer would get you in any kind of trouble? Daniel had such a habit of prayer that his enemies caught him, brought him before the king, and had him tossed into the lions. But I want you to know that God was with him and protected him from those lions' mouths. We need some heroes like Timothy, a young man who grew up in the faith. He had godly influence in his lives. But even as a young person, he was given great responsibility. Timothy was asked to pastor a church while he was still a young man. Filled with God's power. We need some heroes like that. We need some heroes like people in history that you've heard about, like Joan of Arc. As a young girl, Joan heard the voice of God calling her to lead a nation into battle under the cross of Christ. She ultimately, courageously, paid the price for it with her life. We need people that are saints and heroes like Nate Saint and Ed McCulley and Jim Elliott. These three who left their homes and their families and the comfort of the life that they knew to take the truth of Jesus Christ into the jungles of the Amazon. And there, on the shores, the sandy shores of the Amazon, they sacrificed their lives and were killed by headhunters so that one day, not too long after their death, the gospel would reach those same tribes that they were going to. And now, and we've, some of us have been there in that region, and now there are tribes that are converted to Christ and are Christians because of what those heroes did. We need some people like <clears throat> Ignatius Loyola, who was a Spanish knight who fought for king. But then when he got injured on the battlefield, and in fear of his life, he called out to God and said, God, if you'll let me live, I will serve you with, as a soldier in the kingdom of God. And that's what he did for the rest of his life. He worked to organize men who would take the gospel all across the world to the New World, South America and North America specifically. What a hero, what courage he displayed. We need men like John Wesley, a preacher, a preacher whose heart was, was strangely warm as the Spirit of Christ filled him. And when that happened, he began to plant churches and hold revivals and preach all across two countries. It was said of John Wesley that many days he would preach 10 and 11 times. And he would move between places where he would preach on horseback. He'd preach a sermon, hop on his horse, and go to the next place. And wherever he went, the fire of God followed and revival happened. That's the kind of heroes we need. He and his brother founded a denomination that is still one of the largest ones on earth. We need men and women, heroes and saints like Billy Graham. You know, only God could know what a person like Billy Graham would mean to world evangelism. But from this guy who had a humble beginning on a dairy farm in North Carolina, who gave his life to God at a local revival meeting that came to his town. Who would know that that young man would one day preach in stadiums filled with people all across the world? And literally hundreds of thousands would respond to the gospel when this man would preach. Where are 
the Billy Grahams of this generation? Where are the Nate Saints and the Ed McCulleys and the Jim Elliots? Where are the Daniels and the Esthers of this generation? It's you. You are heroes and saints. And when you make the big decision and the big action to surrender your life to Christ, Holy Spirit will take you to places you never believed possible.